What's going on guys? Welcome back to the first stride. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So in today's video, we are going to be going over something that has been highly, 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 highly requested, and that would be involving the Madden 21 gameplay sliders. Well, more specifically, we're going to be going over the XP sliders in this video along with the league settings. But before we get into that, we, um, there's a bit of a little challenge going on here. Pretty much, once we hit 60 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a face reveal. I'll be showing my face in more videos going into the future once we hit 60 subscribers. So if you guys want to subscribe, definitely you can subscribe. I do a lot of Madden content. I do MLB The Show content. And uh, also, if you guys want to hit that like button, please do. It lets other people know to watch this video. And it also lets me know that you guys actually like seeing this stuff. Along with commenting down below any questions that you guys have, whether it be about football, baseball, I am all ears. I will definitely respond to you as quick as I can. Uh, but with that said, let's get into today's video. So first of all, we are going to go over here to options. We're going to go to league settings, and then we're going to go ahead and just look here exactly what I have. So obviously, in my previous video of going over the gameplay sliders, I did talk about this stuff a little bit, but pretty much for these sliders, you want to make sure you are on all Madden. You can be on all pro. Make sure the, oddly enough, make sure the game style is on competitive. Uh, you can do simulation, but I think competitive just forces a little bit more fumbles with my actual XP sliders and our gameplay sliders. So do competitive and um, let's keep going. So obviously you do have the trade deadline on instant starter is off. Um, now, if we just keep going down here, the other main specific thing that you really want to focus on here would be the um, play call cooldown and play call limit. Now, obviously... Um, you don't need to have a limit. I have a limit set just because I know that, you know, in order to make the game a little bit more realistic, obviously NFL teams in real life, they don't call plays the same plays over and over and over and over again throughout the game unless, you know, a defensive coordinator has no idea what they're doing. So for that, I have the limit down to 8. You can bring it up to 16, but 8 seems to be the sweet spot for me. And also I have the cooldown at 3. Now you can put it at 4. I wouldn't recommend going any higher because it does get pretty annoying once you hit 4 or above. So for 3 for me is the best spot. And then obviously we do have all of these uh, breakout scenarios, dev trait regressions, all of this. I have not touched. My quarter lengths are 7. You can make them 8. Personally, I like 7 with the Excel clock off because I do like to play the games. And then obviously all of this stuff, you can just make whatever um, auto, manual, whatever you guys want, depending on what type of league franchise you are doing. And I also do have fill rosters off. Now, going into the actual XP sliders that we have here, going over to the sliders, obviously you have gameplay XP sliders. I'm currently working Working on new gameplay sliders because Madden's um, gameplay has been updated so there are some things that work now with my old sliders and some things that are kind of broken with my old sliders. so I'm working on the new sliders so if you guys want to stay tuned for that you know comment down below if you guys want the new sliders but anyway going into the XP sliders what we have here uh, not too much um, has really changed really what I'm focusing on here are the you know just really skilled players besides the quarterbacks and also offensive linemen for offense now Going into the running backs here, I have put it at 125 just because I find that running backs, some of them can progress pretty fast and some of them can. Obviously, most running backs in the NFL are at least average or above average. And in Madden, really, when you draft a normal dev running back that's like a 74 overall, it'll take them like two to three years really to really get to that 80 mark. So really pushing it to 125 seems to be the sweet spot. Now going into the tight ends, tight ends don't really progress a lot. They also tend to regress at the age of 29 quite a bit. So what I have here is I have boosted up to 140. Now, honestly, I'm not really too um, worried about this slider. You can adjust it to 145 if you guys really want to, but I think 140 is the sweet spot for wide receivers. Wide receivers actually do progress really well in this game. Uh, regression though is a bit of a different story so looking at the wide receiver xp here we do have it at 120 you can boost it up to 125 if you do so choose i think 120 is the perfect sweet spot uh fullbacks kind of the same situation as halfbacks but a bit worse so really what we have here is 125 you can boost this up to 130 128 um, I'd probably say 128 if you really want to make sure that fullbacks do progress. Because in Madden, fullbacks will, you know, like maybe if you get a 70 overall fullback in the draft, they'll progress to maybe, and I mean maybe a 78 overall, unless you have like Peyton Hillis or something. Um, so definitely put it to 125, 128. Now, obviously, for tackles, pretty much anything offensive line, they do not progress fast. 
because uh, most of the time you will draft a normal dev and so really what we're looking for is for those normal devs to boost it up from 100 for tackles you want to boost it from 100 to 140 just because tackles seem to um, just never progress if they're a normal dev for at least like three to four years you can get like a 75 left tackle and by the end of like the second to third year they'll maybe be like an 81 82 overall so putting it up to 140 seems to be a good spot for guards kind of the same situation they do progress a little bit more um just put it up to 135 and obviously four centers put it up to 160 you could bring this down to 155 because centers they do kind of progress at the same rate as guards but it is a bit slower now going over to the defense uh what we have here really what we're going to be focusing on here are safeties corners uh strong safeties and also just pass rushers so really looking at the defensive ends i have boosted this up from 100 to 140 just because defensive ends if you get a normal dev kind of the same as offensive linemen it takes a while for them to progress and so 140 seems to be the sweet spot for that defensive tackles i boosted up to 170 because defensive tackles I don't know what's going on with defensive tackles, but no matter what you do, they tend to just kind of stay in one spot. You can get like a 79 overall guy, and he literally will not progress. So it might progress like two def points. So putting up to 170, it'll probably get him up to like that 185, 184 mark now, which is much better, obviously. I did not touch linebackers, um, but and I did not touch corners. Now, one thing about corners is that they are kind of like wide receivers in their progressions. Now, you could honestly, I would say you could put this up to 110, 115 if you so choose. Don't go any higher than 115 just because corners do progress pretty fast. Um, now, looking at free safety, strong safety is kind of the same situation here as the wide receivers and corners. They can progress, but it takes a while sometimes depending on like the depth trait and how old the player is. So putting it up to 110 115 is a pretty good spot you could even do 113 right in the middle that could be a really good sweet spot here and then the last thing that i have here are kickers and punters and i put them both at 130 uh really when you get a normal dev or star dev kicker and same thing goes with the punter it does take a little bit for them to progress so through this um really kickers and punters are going to be able to have a little bit more of a gap between like an average punter a good punter and then an elite punter so you actually will have more of those justin tuckers now uh going into you know where they gonna where they're actually going to develop so really these are all of my xp sliders as i said before i am currently working on new gameplay sliders in order to make you know the most realistic type of gameplay for you, you know i have noticed there's a lot of teleporting in madden right now drives me nuts so that's why i'm working on these new gameplay sliders and um if you guys once again if you guys want to see those please do hit the thumbs up button down below it will only take you a second it also helps other people see this video but with that said i hope you guys did enjoy the video and uh you know what i will see you guys next time